you enjoy a good book or maybe taking in some amazing artwork, there's a free event this weekend put on by a local independent bookstore. Yeah, we are talking about the Artsy Bookworm putting on this event. They are located in Rock Island. Tomorrow, Felden is the owner of the Artsy Bookworm, and she joins us now. And we're going to get much more into this event featuring... Yeah many, many talented people here from the Quad Cities area. But first, let's talk about the Artsy Bookworm. If you haven't heard of it, you are in Rock Island, fairly new, got started uh, back in 2021. So mm -hmm. where did this idea come from and how was this uh, little organization of yeah. yours born? So I was retired from a long career in higher education and the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. And I had been thinking about what could I do for the community that would be a good thing that's in my wheelhouse. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm I'm by definition nerdy, geeky, whatever. <laughs> hey, that's and, not a bad thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and I, I had no intention to do anything of that nature. Yeah. And I live very close to where the store is. And one day I came by and there was a for lease sign. And my immediate reaction was somebody should put a cute bookstore in there. Because in the pandemic, the things that I missed was traveling to museums and bookstores oh, sure. all over the country, yeah. right? Independent bookstores that do cool things. And then I came by again and I thought, you know, who is going to do something with that store? And then one day my brain said, maybe I should put a cute little bookstore in there. It is too. And quite a, quite um, a bit of books in there. We're lo looking at some pictures of the store right now. That's an impressive setup you have. Yes, we have, um, we have a great selection of books, I yeah. think. You were mentioning good books. Yeah. Um, and we very intentionally carry the kinds of books and the selections that are not found in other stores. Sure. So we intend intentionally serve um, our black and Native American uh, interest readers with history, literature, culture. Mm -hmm. We have a very well curated LGBTQ uh, section. We have a neurodivergent section. So wow. the kinds of things that we hope uh, people want to learn about and we find that people, readers, are interested mm -hmm. But in other places, it's hard to find these things. Mm -hmm. I grew up in libraries. I spent my whole life crawling around in libraries as an academic. <laughs> and oftentimes, I found the book I was looking for. And then a little bit over, I found another book that was perfect that the system would not have shown me. Mm -hmm. right? And I'm always thinking, if somebody comes in and they're looking for a book, and they're looking along, and they're going, huh. Yeah. Here's something that looks interesting, mm -hmm. right? That's who and we And it goes to back be. to representation matters. So if mm -hmm. you find a book that fits you, that's perfect. Yeah. 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 Well, I love to hear you speak so passionately yeah. about your business. It's really enthralling. Uh, we do want to talk about this weekend's event as well, of course. Um, mm -hmm. So the uh, artist and author, author and artist uh, fair is happening this weekend at the Hauberg Center mm -hmm. in uh, Rock Island. And uh, this is really an opportunity for people to meet Gosh, a variety of mm -hmm. different folks in these in these industries. Yeah, all the art authors and artists are local. I brought a selection of books, not all of them, but one Some, book yeah. for each mm -hmm. author we oh, have oh, there. Awesome. Yeah. Some of them have written a whole stack of books. Some of them have written a few. There is a wide variety. If it's a child children's book you're looking for, mm -hmm. or if you're looking for mystery, or if you're looking for some travel stories, so one of our authors has Bedouins and Bears. She's actually a photographer. She traveled all over the world, Africa, the Middle East, and so on. Bedouins and Bears happened to be two encounters she had over the years. <laughs> so that's what she titled the book, right? Sounds like some stories will be told as well. Yes, yeah. yes. They're wonderful storytellers yeah. there. And so we have the whole mansion full of authors yeah. and the whole carriage house full of artists. And we saw some of that artwork uh, on the screen there. Uh, what different types of art can people see? Beautiful. There is ceramic. There is photography. There is oil and acrylic painting. You name it, it's there. Some of the artists who uh, were represented at River Sons. Uh, we're fortunate to have them there as well. So um, we hope that bringing individuals like that before the public, people can have more of a sense of what's available here, right? Some of our art venues have suffered or have gone away over the years. 
and we're trying to say look here are some really interesting things and if you're looking for a unique Christmas present yeah, yeah. an know. original is, piece of art is really that. going to be yeah. the ninja gift right yeah absolutely and, and we kind of wanted to transition here uh, because you're also part of this very important nonprofit promoting literacy in children in our community mm -hmm. we wanted to talk about uh, planting books seeds for a better future mm -hmm. uh, you know you've been involved with this for is this the second year now this is the second year so when I opened the bookstore I knew that one of the things I wanted it to be was a venue for doing some things in the community that mm -hmm. would be helpful and of course we learned over the period of the pandemic and afterwards how much literacy has taken a hit and how much children have to catch up mm -hmm. and we said so here is possibly something we could do so last year we gave a set of three high quality books to every second grader at the Rock Island oh, Academy wow. Wow. and last year there were 85 this year there are 96 so we need 100 books 96 kids and four money. teachers yeah. and so we chose to give books to children because helping with literacy early on helps kids in a lot of ways that go well beyond yeah. reading a book, right? It helps their self-esteem. They can engage with a book at home when they have unscheduled time. Mm -hmm. They don't have to wait for an adult to potentially read with them, but they are wonderful illustrations, right? Mm -hmm. To capture the imagination. So this year, when, when we knew we were, we were going to do this again, we also found that a lot of sources that are interested in supporting us financially can only work with a not-for-profit logical conclusion is we needed to become yeah. a not-for-profit yeah. and we've done that now so anybody who gets something in the mail that has that logo on mm -hmm. it it's probably a request for a donation okay. so please look at it Very please study the letter yes, and consider <laughs> and, um, it's it's really mm. important it is okay so here's all the information as well about this weekend's event do not forget the annual author and artist fair is tomorrow from 2 to 5 p.m. at the Hallberg Estate that's on 24th Street in Rock Island. Uh, admission is free. There will be two cash bars available. You can purchase books, artwork mm -hmm. while you're there. And of course, for more information about the Artsy Bookworm, you're going to want to visit the website or the Facebook page tomorrow. Thank, yes. you, Thank you so, so much. so much for coming here today. Thank you for Appreciate having me. Look you. forward to seeing everybody. Yes. Absolutely. Well, coming up